they're getting very close to the border. The border is ahead of us, about uh, two and a half miles. And uh, we have a dirt road to go inside. Shotgun in front of us, taking us up to the camp. I think we've got a KOA. How are we going? Good to see you. Today is uh, November 2nd, uh, 2010. We are in Light Bridget area in one of the current military base camp. We are five days away from uh, the election and we're looking for a change. And it uh, doesn't matter what happened, if there is no change, we don't, we have no worry because uh, our duty is to defend our motherland, to fight against our enemies, to protect our people and to stand up for the righteousness. This is Ukraine Key Village in Karen State. It's a liberated area and it's guarded and patrolled by the soldiers of the Karen National Union. Colonel Nurda Mya, the son of legendary General Bo Mya, is the commander here of these troops and he's commenced this program in this village to uh, reclaim the area. 2009, this village was destroyed by the Burmese army and with money from the uh, NGO, Popoli, an Italian organization, they've started to rebuild this camp. We were here in April 2010. At that point, the village was just being uh, rebuilt. Since that period, it's now on the eve of the elections in Burma. It's November 5th, 2010. And in those six, seven months, the village has quadrupled in size. <laughs> My name is Dono. He joined the Korean Revolution and then uh, in 2002 he stepped on the landmine. And, uh, but even though he stepped on the landmine, uh, he has good spirit to fight for, continue fighting for the Korean freedom. Even though he cannot go to the front line, he said uh, he could stay at the back and take care of the security and he can also advise uh, young soldiers uh, to carry on. To me, to me, me, to me. His name is Jomya, and when he was uh, 16, he was he was shot by Burmese army. His name is uh, Jokle, and uh, he joined the Korean Revolution and when he was uh, 16 years old, and uh, he got wounded uh, during a meta war battle when he was uh, at Manabla, and then uh, they had a fight at uh, with the SPDC with, with the Burmese soldiers at meta war battle, so he had to go in front, so uh, unfortunately he stepped on the landmines and he lost his leg. Behind me are troops of the Free Koran Army, the KNU, KNLA, and they're doing routine patrols around reclaimed villages in Koran State. Can you show us where the uh, landmine killed a few people? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Here, me, here, 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 this way. Here, me. Here, me. 
I've been fighting with the military regime for so many years and uh, these are our men protecting the villagers and also uh, we believe in freedom and the election that coming up in Burma is a sham. We reject the election and we want the world to know that we need freedom, self-determination and democracy. <laughs> The election is a sham election. Uh, it is uh, a fraudulent attempt by the military regime of Burma to get some legitimacy in the eyes of the international community. It is most frustrating. After 20 years of uh, misrule, they still want to perpetuate their hold on power. And this election is designed to perpetuate the military rule. There may be some cosmetic changes. For example, uh, the retirement of some generals. And so we'll have a, a government, actually a military a dictatorship behind the facade of a civilian government. So there will be no peace and no stability after the election. I uh, don't know, uh, the fighting still continue right now. So I uh, just, just started five minutes ago. In the last five minutes, we've heard about nine or sounding like artillery rounds going off. Today is November 8th, 2010, and it's one day after the elections in Burma. These are refugees who have fled across the border from uh, Karen State uh, into, into Thailand. Yeah, right there. Uh, I'm not getting what I did.